Hello, welcome back. Beautiful day. Chilly, but beautiful. As some of you could probably tell, I'm on Dartmoor. So I've spent the morning driving down and it's about half ten at the moment. So yeah, we're just getting started really. I'm on hound tour here. It's kind of an easy start really, as he says, out of breath. <laughs> But uh, yeah, gonna do some walking and see some sights, and then look for somewhere to camp for the night. I'm in the remains here of the Hound Tor medieval village ruins. It's really cool to see all the different structures or what there was of them, the remaining walls. Lovely spot. I came here years ago, the same route, but I'm going to kind of fork off in a bit to a different route. But it's, yeah, lovely area. Other than that plain, nice and quiet too. <laughs> Having to be careful walking downhill, it's very muddy, I don't want to slip. Still quite a lot of frost about in all the uh, places not getting the sun. I think it's been, it's pretty warmed up a little now, but it was zero degrees back at the truck when I started off. So it's not really warming up much. <laughs> I'm zigzagging. Starting to hear running water, so I'm on the right track for where I think I am. <laughs> reached a point here where I've camped down that way before. Um, I've also camped down that way before, which I think was my first ever trip to the moors. Beautiful view here actually. Um, I'm going this general direction to Hay Tor. There's a quarry there and some other tours. That's the general direction I want to kind of loop round. So I think I've got to go up and over and round. So yeah, more hill climbing. Oh, 
I made it. I think this is Hollywell Tour. I have to double check on the map. But uh, beautiful views from up here, as you can see behind me there. But I've worked up an appetite. I think I'm going to have lunch up here. I can't believe how still the air is. It's just a very gentle breeze, which is nice with the sun on your face. Such a beautiful day. Never get this lucky on Dartmoor. <laughs> While my brew's going, I've got some chili nuts from a ration pack. And I've got a um, cinnamon bun as well, again from a ration pack. No need to be heating up now. I did have like a lunchtime meal, but I'll probably skip it. I'm on the move again with my full belly and there's just a lot of mud, hang on. <laughs> I'm on my way to Hay Tor Quarry. Never been there before. So hoping it's quite nice. The quarries, like X quarries on the moors, generally quite attractive. So we'll make our way down there. Quite level at the moment. <laughs> walked down which looked like a road or some old railway tracks and now I can see lots of what looks like quarried stone in a pile so should be on the right track Well, I've had a little walk around the quarry. It's not as big as some of the ones on Dartmoor I've been to before, but it's pretty beautiful actually. And it's good to see you can see some of the tool markings where they've drilled in to split the rocks and a few bits of machinery still dotted around the place as well. But uh, yeah, beautiful spot. There's Haytor rocks on the horizon there. I'm going to take a walk up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film because it looks like there's people up there. It is quite near a car park, unfortunately. But I'll walk past there and circle back round, probably.
Well, I circled back round from the rocks, come back to where I was before on the tour here where I had lunch. Um, it's a few flattish spots, so I figured I'd do well. It's also a bit further away from any roads or anything. Um, there's a couple of people milling around, just wait for them to go before I put the tent up. I've got a new tent, Nature Hiker uh, Cloud Peak 2. I've uh, been looking forward to trying this one, I thought this was the uh, right place to do it. It's freestanding, so if I put it up and I need to move it, nice and easy. So I'll get that put up in a minute. I've started off by putting in the four main pegs and that's just to hold it still while I put the poles in so I'm going to do that next. Now I just have to go around with these clips which go on and then twist which is great, first time I've ever seen that. On the top here you can see the vents that the fly goes over and you just need to hook up these onto the frame. I'll do them on the lower one, then I'll go around and do them on the top one. Just get them tensioned. Well, that's all set up really quick and easy with this one. I've got the door this side so I can see the sunrise, door the other side if the wind picks up with the vestibules as well and uh, I can pick it up and move it if I don't like it or if there's something lumpy under there, very easy. But I've got the guy, it's all kind of prepped as well. As you can see the temperature's dropped quite a lot and the fact that I'm not kind of moving anymore. But I've uh, got my brew with some powdered milk and my hot lips. <laughs> 
Oh, that is hot, that's going to go down nicely. Got the ponies to the right of me, and up on the tour over there, you can still see little figures climbing it. So there's still a little bit of light left for them. Oh God, that's good. I think I'm going to retreat into the tent for a little bit until I have my dinner. It's getting pretty cold, I'm going to have to get my gloves out, but a uh, lovely view. You can still see the sky and everything. I've got a full moon so it shouldn't be too dark actually. Tempted to just keep the door open. <laughs> but no, I need to warm up before my dinner. Pretty a little hard to show here, but in this vestibule I've got my pack and my camera bag. There's my mat. You could fit two normal mats in here, but uh, I've got an extra wide one. And in this vestibule, I've got my boots. Plenty of room for cooking as well. I'll probably open the door to save on condensation. I'm both freezing and starving. I'm kind of in my sleeping bag. <laughs> I've got meatballs and pasta. I'm gonna put in here and this is gonna be quite hard to light I think yeah very cold maybe I should have brought gas oh I think we're going we are going No, oh, I suppose I should put some water in there. Oops. ready it's so warm <laughs> you can probably hear the last of the alcohol burning off but uh, oh god I'm dying for this okay Ooh. oh it's hot hmm oh yeah this is going to be good. <laughs> I've had these before, the Wayfarers are my favourites. Mm. Oh. Alright, I'm going to enjoy this and have a hot drink. As you can probably tell, it's pretty cold. <laughs> I think I've done too much hot tent camping recently, not used to it. I think this is actually the first time I've camped on Dartmoor in the winter. I've been on Dartmoor in the winter, but not camped. Then I've camped in the snow, but that was pretty much May, I think. Um, yeah, just been sitting here, listening to the horses outside, <laughs> neighing away. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get to bed, maybe watch a video, but yeah, get inside the sleeping bag proper and snuggle down. So I'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning, chilly one. It's not as cold as it was kind of last night or yesterday. It's minus one, I think, this morning, something like that. But uh, still chilly. I think that's because the, we got the cloud. Um, so no great sunrises, really. Just a bit of an orangey sky behind me there. Oh, got me out of bed, though. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, got to make a plan. I don't know whether to have a brew here and then make my way down to the stream, the river, to have breakfast down there. Um, just wondering if that's an idea, because people visit this point, so I could get taken down before that happens. Maybe a brew first. <laughs> Well, I'm just making my way down from up there. We're going down there and then up there and then down again. <laughs> so yeah, just going back down to the stream now. This is the way I came in. Uh, I'll have a spot of breakfast down there. It's just a nice little spot, though it's going to be colder. <laughs> yeah, had a good night. Really, I slept through. Woke up once for a pee. Um, slept through, I think, nine hours. Maybe even 10, I'm not sure. Yeah, it was really comfy. Once I was in the sleeping bag, nice and cosy. It's a good bag, that. Uh, had a little bit of condensation on the outer of the tent, but uh, the inner kind of stopped it from coming onto me, so it worked out pretty well. It's a nice little tent. Right, let's go down here and get some breakfast. Is there a better spot than this for a spot of breakfast? It's beautiful.
a all day breakfast, another wayfarer. It's actually quite nice. Well, he is now. <laughs> Beautiful spot. So glad I came down here. What a nice place to have your breakfast. I've got my glove on because it's so hot. I actually got these gloves on the way down, just in a garage, because I forgot to bring any. And I'm so glad I did. Last night they were a godsend. <laughs> I've got my shirt back on now, it's starting to get a bit warm, climbing that hill. <laughs> Just one more hill to climb, which is there. Just up to Hound Tor and um, then down to the truck. So yeah, I thought I'd just uh, film a little outro, say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, massive puddle. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching uh, pretty much 24 hours on Dartmoor with me. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>